Hey, what's going on everybody? So today I'm gonna to make a portable router table. Uh, I am right now in the process of making drawer fronts. Uh, and I need to cut a little slot for the panel and these shaker doors. Uh, so I'm gonna make a quick router table that will mount to this bench and then you can take it off and put it away when you're not using it. So if you wanna see how to do that, stick around. So I have another video, if you haven't seen it yet, go check it out, showing how to make this very cheap and easy zero clearance router station that you can mark out measurements and put stop blocks. And it's very easy to do. It only took 30 minutes or if that to put it together. So if you haven't seen that video, go check it out. So I'm gonna start by marking out how far that I want this to be. And I'm gonna put this block right there. Now that we got these attached, maybe you can see it's going to sit on here somewhat like this. Uh, I need to cut a piece to go in between here, in between here, and in between there. Back to the miter station. Before we get further into this project, I just wanted to let you know that I do have plans available. The plans are linked down below and everything in the plans are the final product. This video doesn't show the actual like knobs and put cutting the slots, but all the measurements and everything like that are in the plan. So if you're interested in those, link down below. That helps support the channel. Let's get back to the action. So we got the frame. The short side is what's going to go on the bench. Oh yeah, I almost forgot. I'm gonna make little gusset, like 45 pieces. They're gonna go in here to help support this if there's a lot of weight, so it doesn't flex. I'm not gonna use pocket holes or anything for these. I'm going to use my 15 gauge uh, finish nailer I got for during Ryobi days and I'm just gonna hold this on there shoot it and then I'm gonna come back with some screws and just attach it better So now, this time the actual frame is done. We'll sit like that, flush with the table, and the clamp holds it in place.
As you can see, there's a little bit of ledge on either side. Now that I'm gonna, I'm gonna put a square on here and clamp it down, and then I'm gonna cut a little strip that's this wide and drive some screws in the top of this. So when you put this glue on here, make sure you put the glue on the outer side because you do not want it to seep in and glue to the edge. I've already took the plate off the router while my camera was dead, uh, but see, now it slides. Might put some uh, paste wax in here so it slides a little bit better, but that's not that bad for right now. So I made this little box that my dust collector, Festool dust collector will snap into. I'm just going to CA glue all on the edges and stick it on there. But I'm going to make sure that the hole is lined up to the center of this hole. I've drawn a line. This is exactly where the counter is of the workbench. So the router needs to be in this area. So I set the router in here, made sure it's further enough back from this edge as well as I made sure that the trigger and everything is where I can get to it from this direction. So I took the actual motor out of the fixed base. I'm laying it on here the way I want it. So I can remove this out the circle and mark these holes right. again I'm only going to use this one this one this one and that one uh, these three mount and this one uses the little wrench to raise and lower it so Drill a hole in either end of this. That way I can sit a pencil in it and slide it and mark a groove. And then I'll route out this groove where I can uh, put a knob. If you want to do like I did for the longest time and just keep putting a screw every time you slide it in this area, that way you don't have to do the knobs and cut the slots. It's more temporary, but you can get by like this for a whole lot longer until you go and get the knobs. see how it looks. I think that looks pretty good. Okay, thanks for watching everybody. If you like this video, click that thumbs up button. And I do have plans for this link down below. I didn't show everything in the video because I just kind of had made this temporary to get by for that drawer project I was doing. 
So the plans are a little more detailed, so you can actually have the slot with the handles, but I did not use that because you don't really need it if you don't want to, but the plans have that option in there. So thanks for watching everybody. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, so you don't miss out on future videos, and I'll see y'all at the next one.